variables. Now we're going to learn something about variables. There's built-in variables in Scratch, and you can also define your own variables for doing operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, keeping track of things. So just as an example, we have our sprite up here, and one of the built-in variables under the move motion section is the X and Y position variables. So you can see I click them over here on the left, and their little indicators appear up here on the right near the sprite. And if we move the sprite, then those variables change, telling us about the current position of the sprite. And you might want to do that if you wanted to know how far the sprite had gone or something like that. But just to take some variety, we're going to pretend that we have a very curious sprite. We're not going to worry about where it is, but this sprite, in this case the cat, is interested in knowing about your age and your friend's age. And the cat is being so smart, it's going to figure out the difference between your ages. So in order to do that, we need to have you provide some information. You can do that using in the sensing palette, there's a thing called ask. So you can say, ask, what's your name and weight? The, re the, the response from whatever question is in this uh, structure is provided in the answer variable. So this is a built-in variable and it shows up here. So we'll put in, we want to know the sprite is going to ask, what's your age? There we go. And we click that. Sure enough, the sprite says, what's your age? And you enter your age, 23. You click the box. And sure enough, the answer variable contains 23. What if you wanted to also know your friend's age? Well, then you could do this. You could say, what is your friend's age? And we could do both of those. So we do this one. What's your age? It's 23. What's your friend's age? It's 45. And now notice that the answer variable has changed to 45, and the 23 is in some sense lost. It's no longer available to us. That's not good. We'd like to keep that age so we can compare your two ages. So we're going to do something extra. We're going to create our own variables. That's in the variable uh, portion of the menu over here. And we're going to make a variable. So we're going to make a variable called your age. We're also going to make a variable, and that shows up as well make a variable called friends age. So friends age and your age, those are the two variables that we made, and they show up up here. The answer is 45 from before, but your age is zero and the friends age is zero. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to take the answer, which is the response to the question, and associate that with your age. So the way we do that is we bring this little set control structure here, and we say set your age to, what do we want to set it to? We want to set it to the response from the question, which is the variable answer. So we put that right there. And then we do the same thing again for the other variable. So in this case, now instead of putting your age, we set friend's age to what? To, as usual, the same variable, which was in the uh, this portion here, an answer. So now we're going to run the whole thing. It says, what's your age, and then that's going to put your age will be set to the value of answer. We'll ask what's your friend's age, and we'll wait, and that will be sent to also the value of answer, and we'll watch what happens to those variables up here. So here we go. We press what's your age. I'm 23. So now the answer, which is the response from this question, is stored in the variable answer. We've just said that your age is been set to the value of answer, so that's 23, that's your age. But now the question over here is, what's your friend's age? That's 45. So I press that, and sure enough, now the answer, which is the response to the most recent question, is contained in the variable answer. Friend's age has been set to that answer, and that's given as 45. So now I have two variables, one called your age, which is 23 in this instance, and friend's age, which is 45 in this instance, and I have those in those variables. Well, what if I'd like to find the difference between those two ages? Well, I can create a new variable just like I did before. So this will be called the difference between the two variables. So I'm going to call that the difference, and then I'm going to find the difference and say that the difference is equal to, what's the difference equal to? Set difference to the difference between the two ages. So I need to do a little bit of mathematics and I go to my operators thing and I take the subtraction variable and I come along and I say, well, what am I going to do? I want to subtract friend's age from your age. That gives me that quantity of the difference between the two ages 
and then I'm going to then put that there in friends age and now I've got the variable difference so let's run the whole thing again what's your age 23 what's your friends age 45 so now answer changes to 45 and notice here the difference is 22 maybe the cat would like to report that difference so that's how a cat looks it has a thing above its head so we're going to say say what are we going to say we're going to say the difference is and the difference is what the difference is and I want to put in there the actual variable difference and I can report that to the screen so there we go so we'll run the whole thing once and for all so here we got what's your age 23 notice 23 up there what's your age is now set to 23 what's your friend's age let's to 56 this time so now the answer which is the response to the question is 56 but your friend's age has been set to 56 the difference is now 33 and the cat said the difference is 33 however that went by very quickly because this statement was immediately followed by that so to make it more readable we're going to give it a little bit of a help and put a little weight in there so we're going to wait a little bit so we can see what's happening on the screen so we'll wait one second and the final time here we go we'll run it one more time for everybody let's choose some new values What's your age? A student might say their age is 12. What's their fringe age? Might say that their age is 14. The variables change accordingly. The difference is 2.